I want them to know the, the hurt that they brought to my family. Well, tonight we are going in depth, amplifying the voices of those caught in this crossfire. And efforts to find solutions for the violence, including a new law in Missouri. Well, first tonight, a search for suspects in a rolling gun battle that left an 11 year old girl paralyzed. Take a look at your screen, folks. Officers released these pictures today asking for information on these two vehicles. They're believed to be connected to that shooting November 1st. They're also asking for any video between 930 and 940 that night, November 1st, between Hickman Mills Drive and Prospect Avenue to East 80th and East 82nd Streets. Police believe a bullet from that gun battle hit and injured Lauren Reddick while she was in her bedroom. That bullet hit her spine. KSHB 41's Grant Stevens sat down with Lauren's grandmother today to check in on her condition and how the shooting has impacted her entire family. So I want to start with the most important question I could probably ask, which is how's Lauren doing? She's doing better. Um, doctors are still concerned about her um, being able to walk, getting that feeling back in her legs. It really is tough. It's tough on the family. It's tough to explain to the other grandchildren what's going on. It's tough to see. What was it like when you first saw Lauren in the hospital? What was going through your mind? Um, I had a lot of different emotions. You know, um, seeing my granddaughter laying there and me not, as her grandmother, not being able to help her was very hurtful. You know, it's like you want to do something. So she does what she can and it helps. You know, it's just certain things that I do with my grandkids to kind of get them happy. And what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> I sing to them. <laughs> I do. I sing, I sing to my grandkids. It's mostly gospel music, and it brings out a lot of smiles. Joy is the best medicine after all, right alongside hope and faith. Grandma's baking and company on the weekends doesn't hurt either. She has her days, like I've been spending the night there at the hospital, and she wakes up crying sometimes, but she is in good spirits. Those good spirits will help Lauren on her long road to recovery. There's still at least six to eight weeks of inpatient physical therapy. But my Lauren is strong, and I just really believe that one day she will be able to walk again. Not only walk, but, you know, run. Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.